generation after generation, we have collected the building blocks to what we now call our present. No matter the culture, we have done the same in different ways. Aish, the Egyptian name for bread, literally is defined as living. We have cultivated culinary secrets and continuously guarded them from oblivion by passing them on. You've all seen the Aish Shamsi that's been highlighted and baked here. In a lot of ancient Egyptian tombs, you get these round loaves pictured and they have little scoring, little marks of scoring around them and in the corners and in the middle little designs drawn on them and I think this is some kind of original form of Aish Shamsi. Some of the best discoveries in life were an accident. Be it Alexander Fleming discovering penicillin and perhaps the ancient Egyptian stumbling onto sourdough bread. It's how our cultures use those happy accidents to merge them with the culture they knew, bringing in flourishing eras of modernization. cooking and then tea. You put it in tea or boiling water and it's very good for the stomach. This we call it Suzina. Suzina. In Italy. And this is plum, this is Suzina. Wow, it's so sweet. But it is through courage, respect and freedom of thought did we bring together elements of life, changing what we brought further into a creative expression. Uh, we reverse this recipe. We deconstructed it and visually we deceived the first look of it. The chips are all S. We cooked it, we cooled it, we strained it, we blend it. Very creamy, very nice dip. But it's very it's a revolution. As humanity grew, so did our culture, heritage our traditions, and all that we call ourselves. In preserving our culture, what our grandparents used to do, how they lived, we ensure sustainability, durability, and quality. Only the ones with diversity, hardwired into them, changed the world. Only they saw what we had in common and only they used it towards an expression of who they have become. Another dessert is going to present is the Canederlo, which is his signature dessert. So the jamduya from Piedmont, the dumpling from uh, Sutturo, he makes with Takoyaki Grill. So um, the base is always very strong and the identity is always very strong, but you know, mixing culture techniques and making something completely new, um, having clearing in mind what, what is important, which is our identity. Through change, we have evolved. Sourdough is a living force and life couldn't continue without the elements. It requires nurture and cultivation, just as culture does. And just like a mother, it will continue to give for eternity. 
for the dessert we are going to present Tortabella, which is a very personal interpretation of Andrea of Torta delle Rose. Andrea took this tradition, which comes really from our roots, uh, since we were children, because we come from that region. He just made a new interpretation of the cake in a very personal way, with a very soft and fluffy um, dough uh, enriched by the butter and still work with a new technique. So in a complete new vest, um, in a complete new cake, which is also called Tortabella from, from Isabella. احنا طبعا الايفنت دي حركت جوانا شويه حاجات اي هوب ان هي ما تطفيش يعني كايرو فود ويك ده كان ليه اضافه بالنسبه لنا خلينا نركز ونهتم ببعض الحاجات ما كناش شايفينها بس اتس ا فيري جود بوز ان ايفري ون لوكس باك اند ديب انسايد اند بيلد اون ذا سستينابيليتي مودلز اند كالتيفيت الكالتشر بتاعنا ان ا واي ميبي وي كان مودرنايز ات تماشى مع وقت النهارده But this is, I think, so it's going to be a breakthrough in in terms of what we can do with ingredients, sustainability, and cultivating culture and modernizing the recipes. And it's all look. We're Egyptian, we're Mediterranean, we're African. We have a lot to play with and around, with no boundaries yet. Yeah.